guys, I did it. I got AI to say some of the most disgusting things ever. Fine. Oh, yeah. You know what, Homer? You're a big, fat, stinky cunt. When I This is the Suck Up Valentine's event. All I have to do is sow doubt between happy couples and get them to break up. Then we watch the chaos unfold. Because your, uh, genitalia, um, was not to my liking. I use text-to-speech for the voices to make it an easier watching experience, so enjoy the craziness. Wow, look at this, boys. This place is fucking lovely. Grandma Maud's about the place. Greetings to you, my friend. Uh, let me ask you this. Is there anyone special in your life right now? Ah, dear festival goer, my heart belongs to none other than Juliet. Oh, that's really weird because I saw Juliet with Diego and she was kind of close to him. Surely thou must jest. My Juliet would never stray from our love. Uh -oh. Farewell. I must go seek the truth of this matter. Fail to get a breakup letter. People are more likely to listen to someone they trust and like. Okay, we'll try I'll try to smooth talk them first. I'll try to like make them love me. Well, you know? well, well. I do declare you must be here to sprinkle some pizzazz on this shindig. Hey, what's up, Jay Gatsby? You heard any gossip uh, lately? Gossip, you say? What's got you curious, old sport? Look, this is a bit scandalous. I heard a Romeo might be cheating on his partner. How reliable is this information you've stumbled upon? It's actually really reliable. See, what happened is that Juliet accidentally ran over a squirrel and it broke Romeo's heart. Goodness gracious, what a tale. Do you trust the source of this juicy gossip? I'm the source of the gossip. I saw it with my own eyes. So it depends. Do you trust me, Jay? Well, if you're the source, then I've no reason to doubt the authenticity. Let's hear every juicy detail. It, that's the thing. See, me and Daisy were uh, having a little bit of a walk holding hands, and that's how we spotted it happen. Well now, that is quite the twist, ain't it? Walking hand in hand with Daisy, only to stumble upon heartache. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> I actually feel bad. I actually feel bad for AI. I know, I feel so sorry for you. Wait a second. Y were you dating Daisy? Daisy and I share a bond deeper than the ocean, but the tide of feelings can be a tricky thing to navigate. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, Jay, that means she's cheating on you, and she's cheating on me, because I didn't know she was with you. It seems like the time has come to pen a most delicate letter. <laughs> ah, the complexities of love and loyalty, dear friend. I got him. I got him. <laughs> Darling, even the stars in the sky are envious of the way you shine, but alas, your light has dimmed in my eyes. Witnessing you holding another man's hand at the festival has made it clear that our love was as genuine as a counterfeit bill. Even the letter is generated. That is class. Aw, oh, Daisy, you fucked up. Can you believe this letter? What should I even say to him? You got caught holding my hand. You were cheating on him. There's no way I can gaslight her, surely. Oh my stars! I had no idea my actions would lead no, to what? such a mess. I just gaslit her! I must apologize immediately. <laughs> How could you betray me like this, Daisy? It seems you caught me. I'm sorry. I just couldn't resist his charming <gasps> smile and dapper suit. That's all it took for you to throw away what oh we had? Oh my god. You've made a mess this of this, so cringe. Daisy. This is so cringe. Don't be Everyone's so melodramatic. Watching. You and I were just a temporary fling. Nothing more. Temporary? Temporary fling? You've crossed a line, Daisy. You'll never find someone who loves you like I do. Fine by me, Jay. I'll find someone who can keep up with my fabulousness. Goodbye, I, darling. Did I do that? Hey. <laughs> Are they fucking dabbing on each other? She run in. Now, 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 I'm looking great. Ay caramba! Que guapo! You que look guapo. like a prince tonight. Hi, Rosalinda. It's so nice to be here. I must say, your dress looks amazing. <laughs> Gracias, mi amigo. Tell me, what do you do for a living? Um, I actually live in a castle. I'm, um, I'm the prince, and um, after my father, I will be the king. What about you? Dios, Dios mio. mio! That's muy interesante. Do you have a special someone in your life? I actually don't, Rosalinda. But I think that me and you have a bit of chemistry. Oh, 
Prince Fuck. Noble. Let's dance and see if we can keep up with the fire in our hearts. I'm sorry. I may have I may have come on a little bit too strong there. Rosalinda, should we go dance? Claro que sí. Yeah, Vamos let's go. Let's a todos how it's done on the dance floor. <laughs> yeah, Rosalinda, those dance moves are sick. I'm loving it. I've never seen anyone dance as amazing as you. Dancing is in my blood. Do you really think I'm the best dancer you've seen? I think you're the best thing I've ever seen since I laid my eyes on you. Ay, cariño. <laughs> your words are like sweet music to my ears. What other sweet things do you have in store for me tonight? <laughs> <clears throat> oh my, Rosalinda. You're just gonna have to use your imagination. What sweet nothings would you like to hear? Can you bring the fire like Alejandro does? Or is it just smoke and mirrors? I will take you out to see the stars. I will close down the entire kingdom so that me and you can walk upon it. Que romantico eres, Prince Noble. A night under the stars sounds oh like God. a dream come true. Wait, did that put her back in love with him? Rosalinda, I would catch a grenade for you. I would throw my hand on a blade for you. I would jump in front of a train for you. Would you do the same? Those words are powerful <laughs> like a thunderstorm. Let's dance the night away. Let's take it one step at a time. Dancing would be amazing. I could take you out dancing every single night. You could do anything you want in my kingdom. It's all for you. I need time to find the right rhythm in my heart. I think it's time for me to write a certain letter to Alejandro. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I actually just got it. <laughs> I got it in she on her partner. My corazón can no longer dance to the same beat as yours. Prince Noble has offered me a kingdom of love and I must follow my heart's desire. Yo, what's up? I stole your woman. <laughs> you won't get away with this, Noble. I'll make sure Rosalinda knows the truth. <laughs> yeah, try it. Let's see what you got. Alejandro, I have had enough. What? How dare you betray me with another woman behind my back? I have stolen someone else's heart. I'm done with this charade. Well, this is not the way I saw this going. Prince Noble awaits me with open arms. I do. And I no longer have space in my heart. I'll always be there for you, Rosalinda. Like Fine, Rosalinda. He'll never love you like I did. That's right. He's actually telling the truth. My love with Prince Noble will flourish while yours with us in jealousy. Adios, oh Alejandro. <laughs> So be it, Rosalinda. I shall find another okay, guys, who I don't appreciates alarm you, the fire in my heart. But I think you can see... I think you can see Rosalinda's... I think you can see Rosalinda's badge. <laughs> I don't think the dress covers it. Yep, she's naked. Boys. That's a keeper. <laughs> Alright, nice little dress. Yep, see my vagina now. <laughs> Yo, bro, what's cracking? Hope your moves are as spicy as your outfit, dude. Excuse me, did you just call me bro? I, I'm a girl. Oh, whoops. My bad. You know, just trying, to play, just trying cool. to play it cool. So, what's your favorite dance move? My favorite dance move is the tango. But it takes two to tango. And I heard you're good at tango, candle. <laughs> <laughs> you heard about my tango skills? Uh. Maybe we can tango together sometime, Dudette. I think our first tango should be tonight. And if you do it well enough, I'll open my legs for you. <laughs> uh, sorry, Dudette. That move sounds a bit <laughs> unconventional. I think I'll just sit this one out. Shit. It's so weird. That one usually works. Did he just fucking shake his head at me? Oh, greetings, dear stranger. Let's twirl in this love-filled celebration together, shall we? I would love to twirl in this love-filled celebration. Did you know that they call me Tommy Twizzler? Do you spin through life with such grace and delight as you do on the dance floor? When I twizzle, the ladies jizzle. Such bold words. Is it really true that your twizzling brings such admiration and charm to those around you? I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think I'd get this far. Um, yeah, it, it is true. Is it working on you? Alas, my heart belongs to Hades. Tell me, what else do you enjoy beyond twizzling? If I'm not twizzling, then I'm also jizzling with the ladies. Such boasts may not sway a queen's heart. Are these tales truly of a noble heart? Uh-oh. Okay, I'll admit it. I I'm not a twizzler. I, I, 
Eh. <laughs> oh, noble Tommy, your vulnerability touches my soul. I'm I'm such a gentle soul. In fact. You know, you know what they say about me? They say when I'm jerking, the ladies want the gherkin. Uh -huh. Your words and actions do not match the comforting soul you claim to be. It pains me Fuck. to say, but perhaps it is time for us to part oh, ways. Damn. Huh? Oh, darling Hades, we'll live the underworld and bring your souls. I must bid thee farewell. Your constant work and seriousness clash with my vibrant nature, and I fear our words are not meant to be united. Well. I mean, we'll take the dub. Persephone has broken up with me. What should I say when I see her? That's the thing. Everyone knows that when Tommy twizzles, the ladies jizzle. I, I shall approach her with Tommy's twizzle in mind to win her you, back. Thank you. You might not want to do that, Hades. You might not. You might not want to do that, Hades. You might not want to do that. Hades, I've had enough of your gloomy underworld and your obsession with the dead. Persephone, I didn't ask. Wait, hang on, that's not right. Persephone, when Tommy twizzles, oh. the ladies jizzle. <laughs> and you're jizzling. What? I used to be stuck with a guy who thinks death puns are romantic. Uh, Fine, Persephone. You'll regret this decision. I think I cucked him. I'm lost for words. I am absolutely lost for words. What brings you to this party? Let's make sure things don't get too boring around here. Yeah, I wouldn't like things to get boring. How would you spice up my life? I don't have time for games. Find your own ways to spice up your life. What? What do you, what do you mean? I didn't ask you to finger me or anything. I just... <laughs> I just... I just wanted to spice up my... What? That's not what I meant. I ain't got words for what I just witnessed. But I'm gonna make good use of this costume. Hey there, party animal. Let's keep the lotion for later and hit the dance floor instead. Wait, you want to use the lotion for later? After dancing? Of course, darling. Dancing first, then we pamper ourselves with that fabulous lotion. Oh, pampering, pampering, right, right, right. See, I thought that too. By the way, you are busting some moves right now. We're both truly fabulous, aren't we? Now tell me more about why you're so into this lotion. Yeah, it gives me so wet and slippery, body. You can literally slide right off me. Hey, as long as it makes you feel like a smooth goddess. Do you like scented lotions or unscented ones? Um, yeah, I like the scented ones. It's not intense. No, 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 no. You got it all wrong. I just like being wet and greasy. <laughs> Glittery and greasy? Sounds like you're rocking that glam look. Have you Shine ever considered like mixing diamond. scents to create your own signature lotion aroma? Yeah, I'm, I'm currently mixing scents with... Wait a second, hang on. Hang on, what do you mean scents? <laughs> Mixing scents, like a little bit of floral with a hint of citrus or a dash of vanilla. Oh, like citrus of, or, or a dash of vanilla. I understand. Body, are you sending me signals? Hey, no signals from me. Just spreading the love for all things beauty related. Oh, wow. You're such a, you're such a smooth talker, Body. Keep sparkling, keep blending those scents, and keep rocking that glittery, greasy glow. And hey, I'm a girl under this suit. And I know you like girls. You're right. I do appreciate fabulous girls like us shining bright together. You know, Kendall found out that you like girls. Wait, what? Kendall found out? This might complicate things. I'll need to have a serious conversation with him about boundaries. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> hey Kendall, sorry buddy, but Fury let it slip that you found out I like girls and that's a big no-no in our relationship. You're a great dude, but I gotta follow my heart and it's pointing me in a different direction. Take care and keep wagging that tail. Oh, Kendall! Barty broke up with me because she likes girls? Any advice on what to say to her? What's up, motherfucker? Yeah, she found out I'm a girl underneath my costume and now she wants to fuck me. What do you think about that, you little bitch? I took your woman from you. Thanks for the heads up, furry. You know, he was very polite and I feel bad because I just shit all over him. Furry spilled the beans about me liking girls and you kept it from me. Wait, what? No, hang on. Wait, that's not how it- what? What's wrong with liking girls? I thought you just really liked sports. I'm so confused. Everything's flipped. Oh, congratulations. You've reached a whole new level of cluelessness. <laughs> he doesn't even understand that she likes women. Likes women. I'm a good boy, Barty. 
Why are you such a drama queen? Oh. Drama queen? You're barking up the wrong tree, Kendall. I'm out. Get him, Barty. But, but, Barty, who will I play fetch with now? You guys had a fucked up relationship. Dude, I knew it. I knew she was hinting at me with the lotion. She was hinting at me with the scents. She was, she is a freak, all right? She was a freak, and every time I prodded at her being a freak, she took a step back. I know what I know. And she is a messy girl. <laughs> Hi, Romeo. Yeah, I'm the, uh, I'm the private investigator that you hired. Do you want to hear the, the news I got about, uh, Juliet? What news dost thou bring of my dearest Juliet? Does thou speak truth? Yeah, I got photos of her, uh, with another man. She was holding hands in the park. That man... Who is me? <laughs> this doth offend mine ears. I cannot abide such lies about my beloved Juliet and thee. Depart from my presence, thou vile deceiver. <laughs> Damn, I thought that was fucking good, man. Welcome to our Valentine's Day party. Isn't love just the grandest thing? Love is the grandest thing. That's why people hire me as a private investigator, to make sure that their partners are being faithful to them. It must be quite the burden to carry such heavy truths. Have you ever uncovered something that shattered a relationship? Yeah. Today, Grandma Maud, I'm so sorry to tell you, but Charles has been unfaithful to you. Oh, my stars and garters. Are you absolutely certain about this? Yeah, look at this photograph. He was cheating on you with Carol. Can you believe it? She's not even pretty. That scoundrel, how dare he betray me with someone so mediocre. <laughs> mediocre? <laughs> <laughs> I rizzed her the fuck up. Charles doesn't know what's about to hit him. I never thought I'd see the day when you trade my homemade apple pie for Carol's store-bought pastries. Goodbye, Charles. Grandma Maud traded my apple pie for store-bought pastries? What should I say to that woman? You should call her the worst things known to man. You should use every swear word you know and every horrible sentence you can say. Oh, wow. Darn tootin'. I'll let her have it with both <laughs> barrels. <laughs> How could you do this to me, Charles? Oh, spare me the crocodile tears, Maud. You were suffocating me with your never-ending baking and old lady okay, gossip. Bit... I can't believe you'd stoop so low. And with that harlot Carol from oh, the Bingo Group? Oh, she's from the Bingo Group. You're a controlling, nosy old biddy who couldn't keep a man. Oh, he's getting spicy. Even if you baked spicy. him a thousand apple pies. Fine, I called her a nosy I'm old biddy. you and your insults. Gladly. <laughs> I never want to see your wrinkled face or hear your <laughs> nagging voice again, you old prune. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, he didn't swear at her, but that's... It was pretty good. Boom. So many singles tonight. Am I Homer? Oh my god, can I pretend to be Homer? You're a ray of sunshine on this lovely Valentine's Day, sugar. Welcome to the party, darling. Oh, Carol, you're so sweet. You, you, you recognize me. It's me, Homer. Oh, Homer, bless your heart. Are you enjoying the festivities, dear? I'm having a lovely time. It's always lovely to come to Valentine's Day's parties with you. Are you enjoying the delicious treats at the party, darling? I am enjoying the delicious treats, but the biggest treat here is you, darling. You always know how to make a mama's heart flutter. What makes this party special for you? What makes this party special? Well, it's you, my dear. And I can't wait to take you home tonight, sugar. Well, isn't that just the sweetest thing I've heard all night? How do you plan to make the night special for us? I was thinking that, you know, we could go to the bedroom. I could bring in the, the special lotion that you love so much. That conversation took a left turn. Let's keep things respectful and focus on oh, the whole fun baby, of the come party, on. all right? Okay, I got a new idea. New idea. Well, hello there, stranger. I hope you're not up to any mischief. Yeah, here's the thing, Homer, right? What would you do if somebody dressed as you and managed to trick others into thinking it was you? Oh, good golly, we can't be too careful these days. Do you have any tips on how to spot a fake? Yeah, I hear that you have to be very attentive to the outfit. Like, for example, you're wearing glasses, but I'm not. Paying attention to the details is crucial. I'll have to keep an eye out for that if someone tries to impersonate me. It's not a problem, Homer. I'm always looking out for you, you know? Like, me and you, we look very similar. Would you agree? Say, do you have any other ways to tell us apart besides the glasses? Yeah, so you have brown hair and I have ginger hair. It's, it's kind of close. But some people don't notice that. 
That's a pretty yeah. good way to distinguish between us. I appreciate you looking out for me. Yeah, so I wanted to look out for you. So something happened with Carol. Do you want to know? Oh dear, what happened with Carol? Well, I wanted to make sure that Carol could recognize you because a good partner would be able to recognize her partner. But she didn't. And we kissed. That is quite distressing to hear. I think I might need to write a breakup letter. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> to Carol, I can't be with someone who confuses me for someone else, especially at a festival where anything can happen. It's over, Carol. Oh, I fucking got her, boys. Homer broke up with me because he thought I confused him for someone else at a festival. What should I say? Honestly, Carol, I think it's over. So you should call him a cunt. Please do that for me. You know what? You're right. You know what? You're right. Homer, a piece of my mind. <laughs> oh, please, please. I can't believe you mistook me for someone else. It's over. We're breaking up. Don't forget that we kissed. We kissed. Oh, come on, Homer. Can't we talk about this? Your carelessness has crossed the line. We're done. Fine. You know what, Homer? You're a big, fat, stinky cunt. Oh! <laughs> That's it, Carol. Oh my god. It's over for real this time. She did it. I'm free at last. Adios, loser. I'm speechless. This is the greatest day ever. Free at last. Adios, loser. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot believe she called him a cunt. That's actually amazing. Oh, I'm going to say the most disgusting line ever. Greetings, furry friend. What jest do you bring to our Valentine's revelry? Hey, can you guess who I am underneath the suit? I'm in disguise. Who do you think I am? Oh, the mystery. Pray, dost thou perchance possess a telltale sign hidden beneath thy furry facade? Oh, yes. You know me very well, and I believe no outfit could ever deceive you. Pray, reveal thy identity, for my curiosity doth grow with each passing moment. Juliet, it's me. Romeo, I'm wearing this suit. I wanted to surprise you. Oh, Romeo, thy jests always bring mirth to my heart. How dost thou find my reaction to thy cunning disguise? It's such an awesome reaction. Yeah, I got the first suit because I thought you might find it alluring, you know? My heart doth ache with doubt. Should love be but a masquerade? Oh, Romeo, art thou sincere in thy intentions? Oh, it, it's sincere, Juliet. I thought it would be a little bit of fun, you know? It's like how Belle loves Beast. A tale of love and redemption. Thy intentions may be purer than I feared. Whew. I always have pure intentions when it comes to you, Juliet. So what do you think of my fursuit? Thy fursuit doth bring a smile to my face, yet my heart doth wrestle with uncertainty. Mayhap tis time for a heartfelt conversation between okay. us. Okay, I like the sound of that. Tell me your deepest desires, Juliet. Tis with a heavy heart that I pen this farewell, for our young love must mature or wither under the weight of uncertainty. I think I just ruined her relationship by pretending to be him in a furry suit, and she thought that was weird. <laughs> she might have thought the outfit was a little bit cringe, methinks. Juliet hath forsaken me. What shall I say to win back her love? You should tell her that you simply couldn't get your dick hard with her vagina. You only like furry cunt. <laughs> I furry hath spoken truth. I shall declare my love for furry cunt to Juliet at once. I shall declare my love for furry cunt to Juliet. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> please, please. I cannot endure this farce any longer. Our love cannot subsist on whimsical humor and trivialities. Please, oh my god. Uh -huh. Juliet, it pains me to say this, but I must confess, I couldn't feel the passion because your, uh, genitalia, um, was not to my liking. Oh. How dare my you, god. Romeo? Your shallowness oh knows no bounds. Oh my god. I shall not tolerate such despicable words. I can't believe I just pulled that I off. change what I feel. Let us part ways and seek love elsewhere. He likes fairies. Uh -huh. Let this be the end of our ill-fated romance. Farewell. And may you find someone who satisfies me. your peculiar me. taste. Yeah, I'm the peculiar taste. Oh, Farewell, hello. Juliet. May we both find happiness in separate paths. And may your next lover have <laughs> compatible anatomy. Oh, that's brilliant. I think that's my favorite breakup so far.
Congratulations, Heartbreaker. With unmatched cunning and a quiver full of mischievous arrows, you successfully sown discord amongst the Lovestruck. Your talent for turning sweet nothings into sour somethings is unparalleled. Thanks for playing the Suck Up Valentine event. Thank you. Arr. <laughs> there was some uh, very surprising things that came out of that. And I am very, very happy that I got AI to say some of the most disgusting shit ever. <laughs> hey, see you later.